What's going on? I'm back. Yours truly, the one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and more. Today, I'm going to react to a short video. Um, I think it's Doc Rich, one of his shorts, uh, where it's Trevor Noah um, talking about Donald Trump and giving him a little bit of credit over um, Sleepy Joe Biden, as they call him. Before we do that, Let's give you a word from Dizzle. Me and my team will never be link up. They're going to be drink up. We sit down and relax and have few glasses when there's things to think about. Like I'm nice with the balls when I tend to the balls and I'm not talking drink ups. So tell the bartender that's tend to the bar to please pass me a big cup up. And tell that waitress is waiting on us to put a little ice in it. Now watch the ice become weightless like the spaceships that I be sitting in. No wait and listen, no, they're waiting for that tropical twist. That'll kick and get taste buds. Now taste so. No, I insist it's the Dizzle. That's right. It's the Dizzle. Dizzle is a premium luxury liqueur mixed with agave, tequila, French cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Throw your Dizzle on ice. It's nice. If you want to order your very own bottle or bottles of Dizzle premium luxury liqueur, go to DizzleBrand.com. Click on our locations. Click on one of the top three website links. I recommend Emilio's Beverage. It's the cheaper link. Must be 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included. Also, if you're located in California, Oklahoma, Kansas, or Arkansas. There's actual store locations below those website links that you can order your very own bottle or bottles of Dizzle Premium Luxury Liqueur. Also, the Dizzle Brand merch. Go to DizzleBrand.com. Click on store or go to Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Dizzle Brand. That's Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Dizzle Brand. All right, let's get into it. A Doc Rich short, um, Trevor Noah, given um Donald Trump. It says Uncle Trump, but I'm a we'll go with Donald Trump. A little bit of credit over Biden. Denying that Saudi Arabia is playing ball with Joe Biden. And you know what? You can say what you want, but this would have never happened to Donald Trump. Never. No one was ever ignoring Donald Trump's calls. Yeah, because if you ignored Donald Trump's calls, you didn't know how he would respond. Maybe he'd send an angry tweet. Maybe he just like ban your country from everything. You don't know. That's why I bet in these situations, Biden actually wishes that he could hire Trump to step in as president wildcard. You know, just keep everyone on their toes. I agree with that. I agree Trump would have handled these situations more. A lot of people made a big, real big deal about the Palestine-Israel conflict that um, Trump, I guess they gave him some credit for and or the credit for. Um, and that's the thing about a lot of these countries. Um, they don't want, even a tweet from Trump is just too much publicity and too much, uh, bad propaganda for them. I don't even know propaganda is the word, but I guess everything, um, can be propaganda when it comes to, uh, news related stuff with, with countries and, and whatnot. But uh, a tweet, yeah, he could have. I mean, there's no telling what Trump would have did. And I just think Biden doesn't really seem like he has a, a spine. He has no backbone. Um, he was basically, when you're told that you have to pick a vice president um, based on um, race and gender, and you have no choice, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, like nobody's going to tell me, like, if I'm running for president, you're not going to tell me what vice president I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick the best qualifying vice president. I'm not saying there's no females um, qualified. I like I like what I heard Michelle Obama talking about family on a video I'm going to react to. Um, she might well make a great vice president. Uh, Carrie Lake. I like Christy Gnomes. Um but yeah, like when somebody pressures you to have to pick a running mate, you know, and you don't really get to j pick the running mate of your choice, you know, yeah, you don't got a backbone, you don't got a spine. Let's keep it moving. 
You know, I think ever since you've come into office, things are really looking up. You know, gas is up, rent is up, food is up. Really? Everything. My rent went up. No, it really has been. Up. The reason the Biden administration gave for building. Yeah, like, let me, before he gets into that, I know they're going to say, well, this is a map. We're just trying to fix what the last administration did. Their mistakes, their issues. Um, I would argue that while we were locked down for six months, Trump really had no choice but to give some stimulus checks. And um, I think everybody, no matter who was president at that time, I would argue Democrats probably would have had us locked down further longer because um, they're already trying, they still want to try to force people to get vaccinations and they're talking about vaccination passports and IDs and all that, you know. Um, so I, I would argue that anybody was going to probably follow Dr. Fauci's lead on the lockdowns. But once the lockdowns came about, they basically enabled, like, all they did was enable people by just extending just so many things so people could just stay at home and not be motivated to go back to work. You basically gave them initiative to stay home, you know. Um, then we gave a ton of money to Ukraine. We're the only I don't see no European countries giving all the money we're giving Ukraine. We always got, like, we don't give all this money. Like, we, we, it's all propaganda. It's all fake and phony where we sit there and act like we're giving out all this money because we're just trying to be the nice guys. We 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 got a great heart. Um, we're just trying to help everybody out. No, this is all about if um, Ukraine does win the war that we have them in debt and we have leverage over them. And I honestly think we probably bet on the wrong horse. Let's keep it moving. Trump's wall in these sections of Arizona is because they're saying it's dangerous for migrants to cross. Huh, go figure. Go figure. So Trump Trump clearly declared what there's one thing that Trump said he was going to do. He was going to build the wall. Now, he didn't have enough time to get it done. Um, but he clearly intended to build that wall. As soon as Biden took over, he said, oh, we're, we're done with that. We're not building a single further piece. Now, now they're sitting there saying, oh, well, we got to build a finished building in Arizona, which is <laughs> really convenient for the Democratic governor of Arizona. You know, Peter Ducey was on to something, I think, when he asked Corinne Jean-Pierre this question. Like, it's very convenient timing for the Democratic governor that you're building a wall in Arizona so she don't have to deal with the problem. You would, it's not so it's not safe to cross in Arizona, but it's safe to cross in Texas. That's all they're doing is they're trying to push this to Texas. And um, I wonder if New Mexico actually has a Republican governor. I wonder on that. Let me let me let's look this up. But they're definitely trying to benefit the help Arizona, New Mexico. Governor. Let's see. Oh, Democratic. What do you know? Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. And I don't know how much border um, New Mexico borders with, but I think the New Mexico borders, all the New Mexico borders with Mexico, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. I haven't looked at a map in a while, but I'm pretty sure I'm 100% correct on that. Yeah, you know, this is really hypocritical, double standards. Um, you know, it's like 
trying to build a wall that to keep out people from just invading into the country. Um, you know, we, we act like other countries have never built walls before. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Jerusalem has a freaking wall around the whole city. Huh. Go figure. That's not racist. Um, yeah, it's like, you know, such double standards. I, I agree with Trevor Noah on all these little takes right here. Um, and that's the thing. Cats like Trevor Noah. And I even, there was even a video with Don Lemon I seen that I'm going to react to that I agree with a lot with what he said in the video. These cats can't go on lying forever. You can't just go and spew lies and just be biased forever. See, because that's the thing. If you're biased with every view, um, with everything, like, you're going to be lying probably 50% of the time. If you're biased 100% of the time, you're lying 50% of the time, probably more likely. Like, I'm not, I've am i never voted Republican in my life. Um, I do agree with a lot of conservatives in their views, but there's things I agree with libertarians on. So I would probably say I'm a conservative libertarian. Um, I do agree with, like, probably no taxes, the federal a national legalization of marijuana. Um, no war sounds good. Like we need to stop getting involved in everybody else's wars. Um, but no war is not a realistic reality on this planet. There's always going to be wars on this planet. We just need to stop sticking our nose in everybody else's wars. And, you know, it's like we're the only country always trying to act like we come into the aid of, Everybody, you know, because we're the good guy and we want to be protectors and saviors of everybody. No, it, we, we see opportunities. We see opportunities to bet on one side over the other. And if one side wins over the other, we have them in debt and leverage now. That's all it is. It's politics. War is nothing but politics. You know, like they say, the purpose of War is peace. No, purpose of war nowadays is politics. Conquering and politics. Once again, thank you for tuning in, Paul Pickett Podcast, and I'm out.